Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And this is Harrison. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here today with a taste test from the Dollar Tree. We did one like a year ago. About a year ago. And um, it was pretty successful. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. So I'll make sure to link that one in the description box. But we have a 2020 version that we want to share with you guys. If you hear some noise from the peanut gallery, it's this guy right here. But it's real life. If we wait until he went to sleep or was quiet, we never record a video. So anyway, we are going to get started. We have tons of stuff. We have ice cream. We have chicken. I'm looking forward to try some of this stuff. Yeah. So we are going to get started. Okay, so you ready to get started? Let's get started. All right. First thing up is Alice's Caribbean Kitchen Jamaican brand spiced beef patties. So I'm Jamaican, so we'll see how this tastes. I've never heard of this brand before, and uh, these are very small patties, and we'll see how, what they taste like and if I like them. And so the package directions say that you can microwave them or you can cook them in the oven, and I bake them in the oven. They look a uh, little small little thing. Do they look like a traditional shape? No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't look right, but um, hopefully they taste good. Okay. All right. Oh, Cheers. does not look like beef. It does not look like beef. I just broke mine open. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's not beef. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -mm. Not bad. The texture is weird. It's like um, like a paste. It's not like a beef. It's supposed to be mislabeled, but that's that's uh, that chicken. I don't know, but it, it is this the texture of a beef patty? It can be, yeah. You think so? Yeah, it, 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 it's not like you expect. Um, sometimes you do have all the ground beef. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you don't really get that. It's more mixed up. Yeah, without well, definitely. It doesn't taste too bad. It's spicy, but I, it, I'm not sure it's beef. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. it's not bad. Okay, so next up we have. Oh, it's like a hot dog. Yes, it says fast. I can't see. It says fast bites classic hot dog. Yeah, I've never heard of a microwavable hot dog. Me no. either. So, and I'm not big on microwave mm -hmm. food. I, I prefer to put everything in the oven. But Howard followed the package directions, microwaved it, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it kind of split a little bit. Yeah. But we both like hot dogs. Like we grill yep. hot dogs and stuff all the time. You want to cut it in half here? Or... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even cut it. That's how hard the bread is. Uh, maybe I followed the directions too well. Oh my goodness. Because it, it said, what, 75 seconds? Yeah. So that's a minute and 15 seconds. Oh, this is hard. It's what? hard. And it's burnt. Look, show me yours. So it burnt. You can see the bun. It kind of. It, well, it didn't kind of. Right. It's burnt. And, and it's like hard as the. I don't think we can eat the bread. Uh, yeah. maybe I over microwaved it. They, well, we'll see. I'll okay. try the the hot dog. Um, well, if I get it from the. Uh. Okay. Well, if you buy this, don't follow the microwave directions. Cheers. Maybe our microwave is too strong. Mmm. It's like a cheap hot dog. Yeah. It has a smoky flavor, maybe because it's burnt. <laughs> it has a grilled flavor. The hot dog is not bad. But this bread. The bun is inedible. Ooh. Oh, the bun. The bun is a no-go. The bun is burnt. So, um. All right. I don't think I'd repurchase that again. I don't think no. I'd do that. Would you do the Jamaican beef patties again? Maybe. I'll try. If, um, for a little snack. I can't eat anything else. No. Okay. Okay, your turn. All right, next up. Now, these are boneless pork riblets. So, I remember growing up, my dad used to love the McDonald's McRiblet. When it would come out once a year, he would look forward to that. And so, um, this oh. comes in like a tray, yeah. and you get like little riblet patties. How many, one, two, like seven. You get seven little riblet patties. Oh, riblet down. And this is what they look like. And you microwave them for, how long was it like? Three, I think about two minutes. Like two minutes. So we're gonna give these a try. Yeah. So if you were a fan of the McRiblet like my dad was, you might like this. Let me see what they taste like. Cause I was never a big fan, but let's see. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna give it a taste. 
Didn't smell bad. Cheers. Um, taste barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Taste some questionable meat. <laughs> um, it's not bad. Not bad. I would uh, put it in a sandwich or something. Uh, yeah, I'd try it. And I would eat it like that by itself. It does have a good flavor. It definitely has more of a beef texture than those beef patties, <laughs> for sure. Um, I think it has a good flavor. Now, I like you said, I don't know what kind of meat it is. It's probably no. textured vegetable soy protein or something like that, but it's I not did bad. like the mac rib stuff, so oh, you did? I, I like this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's actually not bad at all. Okay. okay, so the next thing that we're gonna try are these fast bites. They are mini chicken biscuits. You get two in a pack and you microwave them. And this is what they look like when you, after they've, after they're finished. So actually these are still, it's still soft. Yeah, and that it's the same, still soft. same brand as this one. Yeah, same brand of fast, the hot dog. fast bites. Maybe it was operator error. Maybe I messed up somehow, because I don't know, that's wrong. That, that is wrong. But this is what the little patty looks like. So you get two of them and we're gonna cut them so that you can, See with the inside. Now it's a little chewy. I mean, to the cut. I don't know. That didn't make sense. But it's a little kind spongy. of chewy. Yeah, it spongy. Feels spongy. Yeah, feels spongy. That's what they look like. Cheers. Cheers. So, I think it needs some sauce or something. Ketchup. Something to. Very dry. So I can taste the biscuit, but I can't taste the chicken. So let me try to taste that That's by true. itself. I don't taste any chicken. I don't taste chicken. Has no taste. Is it real chicken? I don't know, but mm -hmm. taste taste it, because you can't even taste the chicken. Like there's nothing distinguishable about it. Mm. Has zero flavor. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, what's next? Next up, it's a pepperoni pizza stick. From Tombstone. From Tombstone. I recognize the name. Did you microwave that too? I did, two minutes on the microwave. So, you wanna show them what it looks like? Oh, it ends up like this, pepperoni stick. All right. It's about, I don't know, five inches long maybe? Oh, having trouble cutting it. I don't know. Did Ooh. you cook this in the package or out of the package? No, they say remove from the package and microwave it. And the contents right there. Is that pepperoni? Oh yeah, you can see little pepperoni bits in there. A little pepperoni. Uh, I mean, uh, so he's having trouble cutting this. Yes. It's very tough looking. All right, you wanna choose? Okay. This one. Here's what it looks like. I just pulled my top off. Ta -da. Like mushed up pepperoni. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The bread's very uh, tough. Tough, right? You taste pepperoni though. Mm hmm. I don't I think I need to uh, lower the time for the microwave. Maybe the microwave is. Is there cheese in here? Let me see. The, the picture looks the like The picture it. shows that there's cheese. Our picture looks not, our thing is nothing like a picture. But you see, I don't see any cheese in here at all. And I don't see this whole big thing filled with uh, pepperoni and cheese and stuff. Mm -mm. I would probably not buy this one again, would you? No, I'll skip it. Mm. Okay. So we have some stuff that we baked in the oven. And so we're gonna take a pause and go grab that and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Okay. So we have some chicken strips. Yes. From these are. From? It's either cock or koch food. I'd say koch food. Uh, chicken strips. You get. Um, you can microwave them or bake them in the oven. I bake them in the oven, and you get um, about eight pieces in a pack. And these are about what two, three inches long, maybe two, three inches, eh, yeah. maybe. So let's give these a try. So I cut one open. Mm. Ah, cheers. cheers. A little bit better than that. Uh, chicken biscuit. Chicken biscuit. Yeah, it definitely the chicken has more flavor than the chicken biscuit. 
but it's still questionable chicken. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a dollar. I mean, I'm sure it's not pure chicken. And then we also have some uh, chicken nuggets from chicken. the same place. Yep, same company. And you get same amount, like about eight or nine chicken nuggets. And this is what they look like. And so, um, I bet they're gonna taste the same. Probably gonna taste exactly the same. But two chicken nuggets are the size of these little strips. So if I had a chicken nugget here and chicken nugget here. Mm -hmm. So anyway. All right. Oh, it's my chicken nugget. Oh, we're splitting the chicken. Oh, you want to cut the chicken nugget to see what it looks like? Sure. Uh, oh, yeah, I just tore it apart. It looks like the other one. Yeah, it looks just like the chicken tender. So cheers. cheers. Tastes exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Even though they taste the same, I think I would prefer the tender. The nugget? Yeah, actually I don't think they taste the same. I think the chicken tender tastes better. Is it psychological? To me, it just tastes the same. Mm. I don't know. Okay, all right, next. All right, next thing we have some pot stickers. Uh, we have two different ones. One's pork, oops, one's pork, and one's chicken. And you get um, a six in each package. Mm, you and, get seven in each package. Ooh, this is what it looks like. One's pork, one's chicken. I think it's just chicken. I think it's just pork. And so we'll you have to try. Oops, we'll yeah. have to try. Yeah. And so you can either pan fry them or microwave them. We did pan fry them. I will say, Howard and I are are big fans of. Um, Asian food. Yeah, we love Asian food and we like want, I mean, dumplings and things like that. So I was excited to see these there for a buck. All right, so I think this actually is chicken. Oops, I cut it, but I got some. Uh, I'll show them. Yeah. So this is what it contents looks like. Came out. Yeah, so the contents came out a little Ooh. bit. So I'm gonna have to eat mine with my fingers because it's gonna break open. Ready? Okay, ready? Cheers. Go. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think I would probably prefer the pork. All right, let's, let's try, try the, try pork, the pork, one. pork So he's cutting it open for us. Or cutting it in half, I should say, for us. All right, the pork. Looks just like the <laughs> Looks just like the chicken. It does. Uh, you have to hold it with your finger. Here we go. Looks just like chicken. Well, uh, yeah, I thought it would be a little different. Okay, ready? There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes a little different though. Mm -hmm. Taste ginger or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer the pork to the chicken. Mm -hmm. The other white meat. Yeah, you can taste ginger in the pork. The chicken, not so much. Mm. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Okay, and so the last thing that we have as far as food is concerned is Pizza. And these are, I'm looking at the back of it, it says distributed by Greenbrier International, which we all know is the Dollar Tree. And um, for the cheese, you get low moisture skim mozzarella, and then you get mozzarella substitute. So I don't know why it couldn't all be all mozzarella, but here it is. You can bake it in the oven or microwave it. I baked it in the oven. I overbaked it just a smidge. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. Back looks like the front. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. I know. So, cutting it open, cutting it in half, cutting off a little piece for us. Here's my little slice. Uh, not much cheese or anything. We'll see how it tastes. Cheers. Mmm. Mm -mm. Not so good. <laughs> now, I will say I do love a cheap pizza. I grew up eating Totino's little party pizzas. This is not a Totino's <laughs> party pizza. The crust is very different. It's very thick to me, a little flowery. The sauce, how does the sauce taste to you? Non-existent. <laughs> and the cheese. Um, Imitation cheese. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, mean, I don't. I can't taste any real mozzarella there. I don't think I would repurchase this pizza again. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So now we have. Some, did we get all the food? We have the food. Next up, 
dessert. Dessert. Ice yeah. cream. So we have three different ice cream products to try. So Be stay right tuned. All right, we're back. So next up is butter pecan ice cream. And I'm a huge ice cream person. That is probably my favorite treat. <laughs> I think they get the point. <laughs> butter pecan. Okay. Ooh, first thing I see is like pecans right in the middle there. And it says real ice cream on here, uh, made with skim milk, cream, corn syrup. So it's starting off pretty good. All right, let's see. So I like butter pecan ice cream. And we'll see how this one tastes. I had to get a pecan. Uh, you know what? There are two pecans on top. I think that might be the only two. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Pecan is very crunchy. It doesn't taste like burnt pecan. It doesn't I really don't... taste like anything. No, I don't. It doesn't have any flavor. It doesn't taste sweet. It's like a mild, mild pecan flavor. It's like I think it's a mild ice cream flavor. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like ice cream. I know it's that frozen That's milk. That's very weird. I know. What does it say? Naturally flavored. Enjoy our rich and delicious ice cream made with the finest ingredients. Oh. Real ice cream, it which tastes, like, uh, it tastes not, like fake ice cream. It does. Yeah. Okay. So next, up. next ice cream, I've seen this in there a million times. Arctic Classic, classic, excuse me, cookies and cream. Now this one says a frozen dairy dessert. It does not say ice cream. First ingredient in this one is corn syrup. Mm -hmm. First ingredient in that one was skim milk. So let's see, pulled it off. This is what it looks like. There. So, a little nervous. Texture is very different. Yeah. Cheers. This one is sweeter. I guess because the first ingredient is corn syrup. It's icy. I think that's it has because. A, maybe dig deeper. It has a weird uh, like taste been in the freezer for a while. Where it tastes Maybe me. Maybe a little bit deeper in, you'll get past the iciness. No, it tastes like cheap ice cream to me. Yeah, it does. No, but, but if you had to choose between the two, the butter pecan and this one. So the butter pecan didn't have the fake taste, just didn't have any taste. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, it's, I'll just stick to Hagen Dazs or something. Um, that's my favorite brand, but if I had to choose between, if like if I was craving ice cream and I had a dollar, yeah. I would not get that butter pecan. I would get this Arctic classic stuff because at least it's sweet. That butter pecan had no sugar in it, something or something, I don't know. I would save my dollars until I had a couple of dollars and buy real ice cream. <laughs> okay, so the very last thing that we have are these ice cream sandwiches. It is by Party Treat, which is a different brand. Um, I'm a big ice cream sandwich person, but I don't think Yeah, I like ice cream sandwiches, yes. Okay. This one is, a, I mean. You, you get three in a package in there. I don't know, they're not very big. They're not the size of like a traditional ice cream sandwich. They're smaller. So I'm just gonna open these up, open this up so I can cut it open. See what it tastes like. Wrapped very well, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'd probably be, I mean, if we just cut some off with our spoon, because it's kind of, oh, forgot, let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I started cutting it with the spoon already, but this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Okay. So here's my ice cream sandwich right here. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. This is not real ice cream. It says a uh, frozen dairy dessert. Same thing as that Arctic stuff. But if I had to choose between the three ice cream products, Maybe I would probably choose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably get these again. They're not bad. What do you think? They're not bad. Okay. Uh, they have 
more taste than this one. Yeah, that one, that one's terrible. I would never buy that again. And it doesn't taste as fake as this one? Yeah. So this one tastes more ice creamy, less artificial, so it's just better all the way around. Yeah. So I think we did everything, right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we had uh, food and we have dessert at the end. Yes. Oh, awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, what I'll do is link the 2019 taste test, frozen foods from Dollar Tree in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We do have another one coming up with like sweet and savory treats um, coming up pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope that you'll do so. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.